AB InBev has been in turmoil since a call to boycott Bud Light. In almost eight weeks, the controversy has already cost it 22 billion euros in market capitalization and jeopardizes its leading position in the American beer market. Or how a small marketing action can have a huge effect. In the United States, almost everything is political, including beer. It all starts at the beginning of April, with a promotional video, an influencer, Dylan Mulvaney, appears in front of the camera in the publication on her Instagram account, a Bud Light in her hand. She explains that she received from the giant Anheuser-Busch InBev brand a personalized can with her face on it to celebrate the first anniversary of her gender transition. I'm celebrating my 365th day as a girl. And Bud Light sent me what might just be the greatest gift in the world, she smiles. The 26-year-old actress, influencer and activist has a certain notoriety on social networks, 10 million subscribers on TikTok, without being an essential star, and the publication could have gone unnoticed. Except that Dylan Mulvaney, who speaks very openly about his transition and defends LGBT plus rights, represents everything conservatives hate. And above all, this inexpensive drink sold everywhere has a typically American image that conservatives love. This association with the transgender influencer is therefore experienced as a real sacrilege for the conservatives who have called for a boycott. The country stars then lead the attack. The artist Riley Green, for example, replaces the name of Bud Light with one of his competitors in one of his songs, during a concert in mid-April. The very famous Kid Rock posts a video where he promises a clear and concise answer to the controversy. Cap with the Trumpist logo on his head, he turns, holds a semi-automatic rifle, and riddles with bullets from Bud Light packs. Subtle. But country stars aren't the only ones. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, the darling of Republicans tipped for the 2024 presidential election, swears on Monday that he will no longer drink Bud Light. Refusing to support woke companies.